So one of the things I really like about air-cooled VW culture is how non-precious a lot of this stuff is and how much fun people can have. And one of the things that has a long tradition is the crazy shorty bus. The shorty bus is a uh, kind of thing where they take a regular bus and they chop it down and you get this kind of ridiculous cubicle looking uh, vehicle. And they're great because they just look fun. I imagine they're crazy to drive. Is this yours? No, I wish it was. Oh, okay. What'd you call it? What kind of gordy? Shorty. Shorty. Oh, shorty. Just because okay. we shorten, shorten the wheelbase. I imagine they pitch around a lot like crazy. But it's fun. And this has been a thing that people have been doing with buses for decades. And this is actually a particularly nice one of these. Usually they're kind of hacked together. This one looks really careful. This is a looks like a 1970 Beetle, but it's been it's been modified a lot to look not just like an old Beetle, but it looks kind of like a kind of like a just a late post-war kind of thing that they were putting together out of parts that they have. So you have the weird extra, you got the mirrors, the lights, the indicators from like a 56 or 57. Uh, you, yeah, the wheel skirt, exactly. The weird over eyebrow thing, sunshade. And then the rear, we have all kinds of crazy stuff because it's a 70, 70 uh, engine lid with the two vents, but he's got like a pre-64 license plate light, pre-62 uh, tail lights with these front indicators from like a 55, these crazy like blackout light looking things. It's just a, a mix of all kinds of crazy stuff, but it all kind of works together to make something that's just a little strange and a little bonkers and doesn't quite feel like from our reality. But there's more fun stuff here. This is a particularly nice one. This looks like a 63 for the record. 63 was the same year as Herbie, so it's, you know, a brethren. This is a, one of the early uh, oval windows. Probably it's like a 56 or 57. You can always tell the 56 or 57s because they got rid of the semaphores, had the indicators there. I also love the finish on this. It looks like it's made of pewter or something like that. This one has like Mexican beetle style indicators in the bumper. This Gia is beautiful. I love it. I love the orange and I love the stripe. I think this one might be designed to look like there was a famous VW ad for the Gia where it had a Gia done up with like racing stripes and a number on the side and the tagline just said you'd lose which is funny because it was never really intended to be that fast just look like it might be fast pretty Gia convertible oh and look we got some things I always love the things thing of course was the rugged version of the the VW it was built on the Gia plat platform same pan which was slightly wider it was like an update of the old uh, Kubel wagon from the war these are amazing things this guy has a whole town o top in this thing which is fun things were a lot of fun the type 181 but what I'm most excited about is this car right here because this is a type 3 Gia very 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 rare VW uh, so it was a type 3 in the same way that like the square back and notch back and fastback that we all know is a type 3 but there was a whole separate Gia made for the type 3 platform and it was this they call these the razor edge Gia's sometimes because of these really crisp lines it has from the back it feels a little like a Corvair the taillights are a little like a BMW 2002 or something but the whole look is really great and really different than the way other more rounded VWs were looking. Plus, because it's a Type 3, you have uh, the flat pancake-style engines. You've got a trunk at the back and the front. Although in these, the trunk is pretty shallow. You could stack like two pizza boxes on there and they would stay warm because of the engine. But these things are really great. And seeing one even in this condition is, you know, a huge treat because these are so, so hard to find. They look kind of mean, too. They have kind of like an angry eyebrow look, which is, again, is not something you usually associate with an air-cooled VW. But this one had kind of a kind of a tough determined look about it they're very cool this bus has great patina it's got a perfect level of wear on it i have no idea what this propeller here is though what the hell is that it's like on the end of the air intake i think it's just for show because that can't possibly do anything but you know someone's having fun and i like that I'm not gonna stop anyone from having fun and i love this one this yellow guy is great because it's kind of weirdly modern these projector style lights in the ring also the reddest looking indicators I've ever seen but the inside's great it's got this acid yellow and this plaid that kind of matches the blue boy this thing's fantastic it's like a mid 60s camp mobile and you can see these things are just just charming machines they're just so much fun it's like just enough space to really be useful got little cabinets and seats and the pop top lets you stand this one even has really nice curtains that go really well with it I love these things. They're just great. They just feel good to be inside them. That's a lot of fun. I want to see this monochrome gray one because this is an interesting color scheme for one. It's a very handsome looking bus right here. Let's look over on the inside. Oh, this is a passenger one. 
This is great. So I think the, the spare tire was stored inside there. I like how this guy's made like a little little homemade table in there. Well, you could fit a lot of people. Let's say you could fit like three up there, probably three more. Like, yeah, there's like, like nine people you could carry in here. Fairly comfortably. And around back, a little extra oomph. It looks like he's got twin, I think those are Cadron carbs. Twin carburetors. It looks like he's got an electronic ignition on there. So it probably makes a ravenous 60 horsepower, maybe, or something like that. Which, honestly, on a bus is pretty good. There's so much good stuff. Let's see. This, oh, this is like a, a delivery panel bus here. Oh, and this has the rare option where it had the opening doors on both sides, the walkthrough style. That was not that common. This looks like a 56 or a 57. Very pretty. I like the stone guards and the lights. Lots of good details on here. 56, it says. It's coral red, although I still think terracotta is not a bad name. And it's got all kinds of nice period accessories. Look at the little tachometer strapped to the steering column. I love crap like that. So much good stuff. And the little warnings, like the sticker that says don't shift into first when the car is in motion, because this didn't have a synchronized first. Although, why you'd want to shift into first while your car is in motion? And of course, it's got the oval window, which is very coveted, you know, if it's not a split. Splits, of course, the most, where they were divided. This lasted until 1958, and VW had a famous ad campaign where they asked this Italian car designer what changes he'd make to the Beetle, and the only change he said was, make the rear window bigger. So they did a whole ad campaign on that, and then the next year, they made the rear window bigger, and then it became, you know, roughly this size. All kinds of good stuff here. Wow, these are really pretty, these. Lowering is very popular. I never really liked lowering beetles. Oh, this is. Oh, this one's also okay. So this one's hiding some secrets too. So this one looks like, looks like it could be a '63, but I can tell by the filler flap here and the vent in the hood. This is actually a '68 or later beetle. Someone's heavily modified. This is the kind of thing you see all the time in the VW world, like crazy mixing of things because the pre pre 68s are so much more valuable people will go to crazy lengths to make theirs look older than they actually are and a lot of work went into this oh look at the size of those air cleaners oh this guy's got a crazy engine in there too this is a porsche style fan shroud but i think it's still a beetle engine but he's got some massive carbs on this thing yeah it is a porsche style cooling fan that's fun and i love how tall these air cleaners are there's a lot here i'm gonna keep looking around and find more stuff so here's something you don't see as often. It's a commercial vehicle. It's a bus. It looks like it's a 68, I think, somewhere in there, 68 bus, one of the bay window ones, but it's a commercial version, which means there's no windows in the back, no seating in the back. These are hard to find. I listen to a little speaker with an iPod. Yeah. I love it. What do you have in it, engine-wise? Stock 16. Wow. That is absolutely a stock 1600. You got the proper air cleaner and everything. Wow. Yeah, it's an amazing shape. Thing. Yeah, okay, so we got this lovely, charming little creamsicle orange bus here, and then next to it, there's this yellow, yellow beast. This Vanagon with a, it's, I looked underneath here before, it looks like it's got the inline four water-cooled engine that they put on some of these later. And of course, it's the four-wheel drive one with the massive tires and these, these crazy-ass battering ram bumpers. This thing looks like a lot of fun. These are, are pretty hard to find, and, um, I know people who have them really, really love them. They have quite a cult following. Let's see if we can see what's in the side. Oh, here's a look at the square back. I always like square backs. So as far as like space utilization goes, the square back may be one of the best cars ever for just pure space utilization. Because it's a Type 3, remember, engines flatten in the back, so you have a pretty decent sized trunk up front, and then you have all this cargo area in the back. It's like the entire length of the car is space that you can use from the bumper to bumper. You're not having to give up any space for some greedy space hogging engine because they shoved it way down there. I love it. The only thing that actually that comes close to this today is a Tesla, I guess, because they built on that skateboard platform and they're actually, but they actually owe a lot to the old Type 3 design. And plus they look great in orange. Orange is an underappreciated car color. I love these. 